You're listening to the Ghetto News. Good Monday morning, Vaqueros. I'm Justin Lizalde, and this is Vaquero News. We hope you had a safe and restful weekend. At the top of the news, February begins observations of Black History Month. Reporter Rodolfo Alvarado spoke with some experts on Black history in the Valley. February marks Black History Month, a time we dedicate to the learning of African American history and culture, and there is a lot to learn here in the Rio Grande Valley. Community Historical Archaeology with Schools or CHAPS Program Manager Roseanne Bachagarza says one key part of Valerie history was when U.S. colored troops were sent down to South Texas. They were here to help secure the border after the Civil War was over. They were in charge of restoring and or reconstructing those forts along the border. Bacha Garza continues by saying that after these forts were restored, these troops then stayed to protect the area from a possible Confederate resurgence. CHAPS was established in 2009 and is an organization dedicated to preserving history in the valley. Black history in the valley may not be well known, but organizations like CHAPS make it possible to remember our past. Bacha Garza says that learning this side of history is important if we want to unite ourselves as a community. If we can just broaden that understanding of who we are as a people, I think that would create less fear and, and more understanding and compassion toward each other. Students at UTRGV, such as multidisciplinary study senior Bafor Chiem, agree with this notion and want people to better understand black history and culture not just to recognize the month of February, but to better understand the community and their contributions to the United States. I feel like it has to be recognized because uh, without our culture slash our history, like I'm not sure how the United States would become the country that it is. I feel like the country has made it to what it's become today all because of our history and our past. Black History Month will start Monday and will run until March 1st. Visit V-Link for a list of events celebrating Black History Month. This is Rodolfo Alvarado for Vaquero News. The next guest of the Distinguished Speaker Series has had many roles in his life. Actor and activist Terry Crews will virtually speak next week as Black History Month events begin. Hear what some are saying about the visit. The next guest of the Distinguished Speaker Series has faced many adversities in his life yet he has been a firm believer of doing something to overcome his challenges. Actor, activist, and former athlete Terry Crews will virtually speak to the UTRGV campus community at 7.30 p.m. on February 8th for the 17th season of DSS. Cruz's visit comes as a campus and country begin observations of Black History Month, a time of remembering the achievements and history of Black Americans. Director of Student Activity Cindy Mantavasquez says she hopes Cruz's visit will bring perspective and motivation. Um, he has his own story to tell, how he came up from being an athlete to now being an actor, an activist. Manta Vasquez says when UTRGV received confirmation Cruz would speak, the February 8th date was chosen as a kickoff to Black History Month events for campus. Sociology Associate Professor Adlet Lomeli will be one of the moderators for the event. In response to a question on cultural reflection, Lomeli agrees that the mutual understanding of being a minority will resonate. It might not be on the same level, but we're definitely looking at at the realities of history repeating itself and and more so in in different ways lomeli adds it's best to have these discussions to think about how people can move forward together sociology lecturer billy ulibari will also moderate alongside lomeli he says although cruz is not from the valley he does have shared experiences it's always great to have an outsider's perspective just to get a sense of reminding us of what we think is important and what are the big issues that we should be paying attention to. Visit V-Link for information and how to register. For Vaquero News, I'm Justin Elizalde. A new scholarship opportunity for certain eligible students is being offered by the Office of Student Success. Here's our coverage. Certain students at UTRGV may qualify to receive some needed assistance. The Office of Student Success sent an email to eligible students Tuesday informing them of a $500 scholarship. 
According to the email, the scholarship funds come from a grant awarded to Excelencia in Education and the Council for Adult and Experiential Learning. Executive Director of Student Success Leslie Jones says those eligible are non-traditional students and those who are 25 and older. And then we left it pretty flexible. So it doesn't matter if those students are continuing, returning, new transfer. They can be part-time. They can be full-time. They just need to have some sort of financial need. The email states the scholarship comes from the spirit of Aquí Para Ti, a part of the UTRGV Quality Enhancement Plan. Jones explains what she believes the phrase means. Aquí Para Ti is is really understanding the student population and then customizing our services to meet their needs. Students who receive the email have until February 15th to complete their form. For Vaquero News, I'm Justin Elizalde. Tim McLean goes up and throws down a monster dunk. That fires up the UCRGD field house. And now time for Vaquero Sports. Volleyball is heading back to the court after tough losses against UTSA and Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Sports reporter Luis Rubio has the story. UTRGV Volleyball is set to return to the court 7 p.m. Monday and 1 p.m. Tuesday to begin conference play against new WAC member Dixie State. The Vaqueros' injury woes and lack of conditioning got the best of them in their opening weekend doubleheader versus UTSA and Texas A&M Corpus Christi in 2-3 and 0-3 losses respectfully. In a weekly news conference via Zoom, UTRGV head coach Tal Lari explained that despite the team's lack of depth, he was proud of how they competed. I thought the girls scrambled really well and really just went out and competed and lost a tough one right at the end in the fifth set. And against Corpus, you know, tired legs with not very many bodies, they kind of got the best of us. Although a first ever matchup between UTRGV and Dixie State, Larry can't help but be reminded of a former WAC school when preparing for the Trailblazers. I feel like we're preparing for Cal Bakersfield. I mean, they're a high energy team. They never shut it off. They just kind of do everything well and they compete in every aspect well. UTRGV will still be shorthanded for their doubleheader versus Dixie State as key players return from injuries and personal reasons. In a start to the season that has had many ups and downs, Larry's message to the team has remained constant, and that is to compete. I think that's been our goal and our message throughout this spring season. We knew it was going to be chaotic and getting away from focus and a little bit of wins on losses. And how do we focus on being a team that competes every day and really using this season to build our program? Larry wants to shift the culture within the program to become consistently competitive as the WAC expands, welcoming competitors such as Stephen F. Austin and Sam Houston State. For more UTRGV sports stories or Rio Grande Valley news stories, visit utrgvradio.com. For Vaquero Radio, I'm Luis Rubio. For today's weather report. A nice cool beginning to our week as temperatures rise towards Wednesday and Thursday. You can expect sunshine and temperatures in the high 70s to mid 80s for much of the week. Also by the middle of the week, winds are expected to reach as high as 24 miles per hour, so don't forget to tie down any small items around your house that can be blown away. A cold front is expected to arrive by this weekend to bring temperatures back down. That's all for this week's Order Report. Stay tuned for campus events. And now for this week's event calendar. The Cultural Council will be hosting a Netflix watch party to begin celebrations of Black History Month today starting at 7 p.m. Visit V-Link to learn more. The Center for Innovation and Commercialization will host an information session at 1 p.m. Wednesday via Zoom for its Big Idea competition. This is open to all UTRGV students, faculty, and staff. That is all for this week's news. If you have any story ideas, send us an email to radio at utrgv.edu. You can also send us a message by following us on Twitter at Vaquero Radio or liking our Facebook page by searching UTRGV Radio. Did you know Vaquero Radio has an app? Download the Radio FX app through the App Store or Google Play Store. Search Vaquero Radio and add us to your favorites. You can listen to music, chat in during DJ hours, and much more. Want to host your own DJ show? Visit our website at utrgvradio.com to find out more information or how to apply. Thank you, Vaqueros. We'll see you next Monday at 9 a.m. here on Vaquero Radio. This has been Vaquero News. 